we are about halfway through Inktober, and I have more Inktober art to show with you guys. So, hopefully you guys aren't sick of that yet. <laughs> there were actually exactly seven days in between my last Inktober piece and uh, the first one for this video. And it's, it's just been a very busy week. <laughs> I have had a lot of uni work due this week. I've been commissioned to make a logo, so obviously I'm on a time crunch for that. And on top of that, I'm just trying to keep up with Inktober, you know, editing videos, doing social media stuff for my art, and just also trying to make time for just other art that I want to make. And uh, on top of that, I do also travel a lot. I spend my days at uni doing work. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I don't really have all that much time in the evenings to do my own personal work. I'm at my boyfriend's place from Friday to Monday, and I'm, I'm not really, I'm not at a desk I have no way of recording so yeah it's been a it's been a busy week and i thought that this would kind of be a good opportunity to talk about something that i think maybe some others might relate to not necessarily just other artists but just i think this is something that, that anyone can relate to and it's that um it's just putting a lot of pressure on yourself and not being able to allow yourself to like actually relax and take a break with good conscience i i've always kind of been like this like no matter no matter what i'm doing or how much time i've spent being productive that day no matter how much i've gotten done that day if i sit down and do anything that i deem not productive like i am just constantly thinking about everything that i could be doing or getting done in that time like even when i am technically relaxing i'm not really relaxing because the only thing i'm thinking about is all the things that I should be doing and just beating my beating myself up for you know sitting down and doing something else for once um so obviously you're not you're not actually really relaxing because of the all that you know mental it's, it's obviously mentally draining to be to, to be that hard on yourself and not allow yourself to just take a minute to breathe and, and everyone deserves downtime everyone deserves to take time out of a day to just do their own thing not because it's gonna necessarily gain them anything but just to relax to just do their own thing to unwind after a long day of you know work or school or just whatever it is you've got going on like we all deserve time to ourselves without having to feel guilty for it but um i think this is why i also often get burnt out i'm often very like work 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 and then it's just kind of to the point where the moment I like stop with the work or I get the work done or I finally take a break from it then it's like I can't get myself to do anymore I don't want to do anymore you know because I've been on like I've been running on like 120% for so long without any breaks and then I just kind of get depleted to like minus 50 or something and then I just end up doing nothing for however long <laughs> And I think that's like, for example, why I had my, like, I took a break from art and social media for a few years. I can't remember how long now. Uh, I've just recently gotten back to it. And that's because I think I just, I just burnt myself out. Normally this isn't a problem for me, but I, I've been having a lot of headaches this week. And I've, I've always been a very headache prone person. Um, I've been getting them for as long as I can remember. I, I don't I get a lot of headaches, but when they're this like persistent and like the intensity is upped, then I find it a lot harder to deal with because I'm quite good at just sucking it up and just dealing with it because I have them so so often that like I just don't really have much of a choice. They've been they've been very frequent. Like the one I'm recording this um, Friday evening. I remember having this headache when I woke up Thursday morning and I have ta I've taken painkillers, but and I've tried to drink water, I've tried to lay down, relax, you know, I've tried everything, fresh air. But uh, there hasn't been like a single moment without this exact headache since then. I think it also bothered me because Thursday is my, Thursday is like my one day off in the week. And it's the day that I try to utilize the most. I like to get like a lot of work done. That's normally when I get most of my art done as well. It just reached a point where like I just had to put down my work and I had to just lay down. And like just hope that it would pass but as i'm laying down like feeling really guilty for not doing work and i just beat myself up over it and then i just 
I can't fully relax because all I can think about is all the work that I need to get done and that I should be doing. So I guess it's just a reminder to myself to take it easy because I, I don't want to get burnt out again. I don't want to end up having to, you know, take a break from art and social media for weeks, months, years. I don't, I don't want to do that again because I just worked myself to the bone and it just sucked all the joy out of it and I just didn't want to do it anymore and I don't want to reach that point. So I guess this is, this is a nice reminder to allow myself to just relax sometimes. Like, believe it or not, I am allowed to sit down and spend an hour on TikTok. I am allowed to whip out my Switch and play some games or read a book or watch something for once. Like, it's not a crime. And like, not only is it okay, like, I deserve it. You know, everyone deserves to have a little bit of guilt-free, just you time. But yeah, about these two drawings, they are just normal, just normal pen sketches. I didn't really want to, I didn't, I wasn't really in the mood for uh, doing anything like super, well, I wouldn't say that any of my Inktober pieces are super advanced, but like, I didn't really want to sketch anything out. And then I didn't really want to think of, I didn't really want to decide on a prompt and then think of something within that prompt and, you know, pick like a fun color and all that. So I went back to my basics. Now that's my little like red pen sketches and then I just took a brush pen, a, a black brush pen on top of that and made it into like a little inktober piece. And I do enjoy this. This is a very fun method for me and it's relatively, it's relatively quick as well. It, it, it's quick while also giving me an outcome that I am quite happy with. That's why I, I see this, I guess this art style is quite successful because um, I can both focus on quality and quantity this way because I can push out more of these um, but I don't really feel like the quality of these drawings are diminishing for making them faster or for making more of them because I, I do really like how these outcomes look so yeah I just I just kind of drew the girls and then came up with the prompt afterwards because I just wanted to draw I didn't necessarily want to put too much thought into it to be honest and at the end of the day that's kind of what Inktober is about isn't it? Not just Inktober, but other art challenges, like I think Sketch Timber is a thing, and Mermaid and stuff like that. At the end of the day, it's not about the specifics of the challenge. It's more about getting yourself to draw every day, or at least to get yourself to draw more. So, yeah, I I do really like these these little sketches. I I've always been one to draw like more. I want to say more like anime lips or mouths, which normally consists of just like very minimal lines and no like lips <laughs> mainly because i i think that drawing actual lips is really i've always it's always been quite hard for me i don't know why but i've always kind of struggled with it but i actually think they look quite good in these drawings i'm quite happy with them so with these with my little uh my little pen sketches i've been really trying to focus on like drawing more like semi-realistic faces rather than like it kind of like straying away from the anime the like ultra anime style not that my style was ever like ultra anime but i am trying to uh, have been trying to incorporate more semi-realism in it like especially by the with the noses and the mouths and i'm i'm i do think it's coming out quite well i can see the imp in the i can see the improvement and i'm quite happy for that <laughs> So yeah, what I've been up to lately, um, exact same thing as last week. <laughs> I'm still reading Poppy War. I'm, I'm around like almost 300 pages into it now and it, it is very good. It's exactly what I needed. It's a good fantasy book for the fall. Um, and other than that, I did just finish Graveyard Keeper with my boyfriend. That was the game we've been playing for the past few weeks. So by the time this video comes out, we have probably already found a new game to start playing. And that's it. That's all I've been doing in my free time. To my current projects, I have been trying to put together an art vlog. I'm just kind of struggling a little bit because I don't know exactly what to put in it. Like, I'm not sure what to show. Um, and it's hard because I don't really... I have like a little like clip-on tripod for my desk. And that's what I use to record these videos. But I don't really have like a proper tripod that you just like kind of place on a surface. And it'll just like... You know, I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but so, and that makes it kind of hard to actually set down, that makes it kind of hard to actually set down my phone and uh, record 
other things other than just my normal like drawing at the desk does that make sense so i'm not really i'm not sure what else to really add in the videos but i have some clips i'm messing around with that a little bit so we'll see if i do manage to edit one other than that i am i am working on monster high digital portraits i've started on that so hopefully that'll be a video coming out soon <laughs> Other than that, I'm, it's just the usual Inktober pieces. Um, and I am also hoping to get maybe some Halloween art done. I have about, I guess a little less than two weeks to do that then if I want to have it out in time. So, we'll see if I manage to find time. I should be less busy now though, because um, I just had some projects to do exactly this week and I am now done with them. So, uh, my schedule should free, free up a little bit now. And I should have more time to do other things. And I do want to focus on actually doing other other work. Not just like same old, same old. I, I don't want to just do uni work. And I don't want to just like push out sketchbook sketches just because they're easy. You know, I actually want to put effort into something different. Something that I want to do. Uh, that I'm motivated to do. But yeah, I think that's all for this video. And I'll see you guys next Sunday.